So, this is Frankie going shopping without Bird. So this is what the ladies like when it comes to Blade HQ. So, first thing I always do is go to New Arrivals. So let's see what's new. Um, and there's a bunch of awesome knives. So it looks like the Olamec. Um, any of these guys would be absolutely awesome. I really like that black one on the very top next to the blue. And then that white is really sweet looking too. Ooh, I like that acid rain one. Jeweled. Yep, I like it. I like it fancy. Um, and then I just scroll down to see what else we got here. Um, <clears throat> I have made these Metal Earth um, 3D models before. Not the Star Wars ones, but I have made my own. Um, I have a Dragonfly one and Dragonfly, a Praying Mantis also. They're really cool. Neat little presents. I enjoy them. Um, and then, ooh, new beads. Oh, I really like the diving helmet one. That guy's really cool. Um, and I, I love lanyard beads, so, ooh, I really like the rhino. The cat in the hat, mad cat. That was cool because I can tell why it's out of stock because he is really awesome looking. So I kind of just randomly go through what is new at Blade HQ. Um, so continue on. That Light My Fire Pearl Camp Kit. That would be an awesome little present for somebody. Like, they maybe is not necessarily a super hardcore knife user, but like somebody that camps. Like, that would, $35, that'd be an awesome Christmas present. Um, so then let's go back to here. <laughs> Page three. Hinders. Okay. Mikhail Williamson ones are always awesome, but kind of expensive. Um, these Leatherman bracelets are very interesting. I wonder, does anybody out there have one of these? They're kind of just, they're really expensive for what they are, so I was just wondering if they are well worth the price of it. I'm not sure. Um, you could not go wrong with these Sinkovich um, ZTs. I love the new blue version. Very cool. And you guys know me, I love my ZTs. If I probably had to choose like one brand for the rest of my life, I probably would just choose ZT. I just love them. Everything about them. There's some for every size. Oh, those are interesting. Custom friction folders. Can't go wrong with any Ferrum Forges. All of them are awesome. I love the colors. Um, I love colors. Let's go to keep do do. Okay. So this is what I usually do is just look what's new. And then um, I'll actually look to see what's coming soon, which is fun. So I look to see what's coming soon if there's something new that I need to just get on. Um, I'm not sure about this Spider Co. It has a really cool design to it. It's a liner lock. The color is what kind of catches my eye. It is really neat looking and it kind of has like a, a rhino nose horn. It's not a nose, it's a horn. Um, but he just looks like a rhino, so of course I like him. Uh, let's see here. And they'll always say out of stock. Um, it's because they don't have them in stock yet. But these are really cool little things. And if you do click on them, then you can find out how much they will cost cost. But forty seven ninety seven, that is actually really cool. What does it say? Do, do, do. Yeah, that would just be really awesome to just throw in your pocket just to have. Look at how it folds up. That's very cool. It almost looks like you could put it like on like a belt loop. Or a belt through it. Make a lot of sense, I know. Anyways uh, what I did want to tell you guys, um, Bird is kind of like out of commission at the moment, so that's why I'm doing this video by myself. Um, so bear with us while he is getting a little bit more help. Um, he is alive, and he will continue to be alive. So no worries that way, but he just has to get some of this stuff taken care of for him. So I just wanted to let you know that's what's going on. So bear with me while I kind of do these videos by myself if I can. 
because he's he's my he's my guy. I mean, it's hard to do stuff without him. So let's see here. These little pocket tools are always cool. Oh, and I don't know if you saw at the beginning. Let me go to the very top here. Um, right here. Buy CRKT. You get socks. <laughs> That's just so cool. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, this was the hype, um, like, I don't know, a few weeks ago of all the discontinued Spydercos. I don't know about you guys. You can tell why they're getting discontinued. That's just me. I mean, if I had to choose one, I don't know. I don't know, they're all kind of boring. That's why they're getting discontinued, right? Because they're not selling. So, I understand why they are getting discontinued. I always, I like this um, Spyderco Lil Spy. Um, but it really is just like a lion steel, but in a Spyderco. So, I was just, it's like you might as well get a lion steel. But it is, it's a hybrid, so it's really cool that way. But I'd probably just get a lion steel. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, cool. Of course these do have cool factors to them. I'd probably ch choose the Southern, um, because he's just cool. Um, and then we have the Domino. That's a good knife. And another Southern. But a lot of them that they discontinued are, like, these weird, weird blade shapes. And just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would not get them. Okay, and so then what I do next is, I always go to what's on sale too. So we get to see what's on sale. And I know this is funny, but I actually go to what is low to high, because you know us, we like our cheap stuff too. And I'll buy um, buckles from here to make stuff. Um, you never know what you can find in here, so it's always worth what's, seeing what's on sale. You can always get your little flippers. Uh, but it's always kind of fun to browse through. These are just good little random things. And then what I like to actually do also is, okay, go back to yeah, Rivals. <laughs> so I like to look at tools and more um, because I like just random accessories. So I go to knife accessories. Because this stuff is just fun. This is what I like to craft with, so I like this stuff. And these are good little presents, too. So you can actually buy full lanyards. Um, this is for the Azula um, handle. We still need to get one of those. I don't know why we have it. But um, I just always like looking through this stuff, too. I love beads. Um, there's some really expensive ones out there, but then there's cool ones that are less, too. Um, we started making the beads, which is really neat. I like their colors. Of course, you know I like my colors. Can't go wrong with any of these fun ones. And then the TI Survival, TI Survival guys, those are nice. They're a little bit more expensive. I've always wanted one of these rose skull lanyards, but I'd choose it with, there's one that is um, silver with a gold um, rose. I just like that one because it's just different. Um, but there's just a bunch of fun beads. I've always wanted the saber tooth one. I don't know why I haven't ever bought it. I don't know. It's just weird. Oh, there's the one that I want. This guy. But I always browse through these because there's always fun, like, animal beads. Um, do, 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 do. I like this. This is a little basic one. It'd be nice for a smaller lanyard. Wouldn't take up much room. But there's some cool ones for sure. I enjoy browsing through them all. Like even this. But jeez, $40? That's Damascus, that's why. But I like those those ones that were new. The new arrival ones. Can't go wrong with the goat. <laughs> he always just makes me laugh. He's just funny looking. <laughs> I love my goat. I don't know if you guys knew, but I had a goat growing up. Random stuff. I've had a million different animals. Not literally a million, but I've had, um, we had a goat, we had llamas, we had, um, sheep, um, we had a pig, full-size pig. You know, people will think, oh, a pygmy pig. Nope, he was full-size. I think he was about 1,200 pounds when he passed away, but he was, he was one of my best friends. He was really cool. 
Um, his name was Pork. He was a red pig with really long hair, which is really neat. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, this is one guy that I have always wanted. I need to buy him. $40 is hard to pay for for a bead, but he is the cutest little guy. Yes, he's an ex executioner, but look how cute he is. Look at his little face. I just love him. I just need to buy that bead one of these days. But I like looking through the beads. They're just fun. Very fun. But that's what I kind of do for Blade HQ. Randomness, I know. I always just look through it, see what I can find. Um, that's, yeah, I don't know. You guys know me. I'm, I'm odd. So this is what I like to do. I, I seriously will just randomly just go through and um, see what there is. I always... Every time I look, I think I need to get another Kalashnikov because they come in different colors now. Um, mine's just basic, like this guy. Um, I need to get more of those. Um, these are the exclusives, which are fun to look at too. That's really neat, but we've seen some of these with these like coppery looking blades. I don't know. It's not as cool as it looks like in person usually, so I don't know. Um, but that's what I do when I do my shopping at Blade HQ. So I was thinking, while well, bird's away, Frankie's gonna play. Ha ha ha. I know, that's stupid. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I will try to do another video here soon. And take care.